Hi, I'm Mark Los Dirinos and I'm a product manager with the Internet Explorer team at Microsoft. I wanted to introduce today to you the new features in Internet Explorer 7 around support for extended validation SSL certificates. I'm sure and I definitely hope that all of you are using Internet Explorer 7 and I'm sure that most of you have used at one time or another SSL certificates. So an SSL certificate actually helps you a lot in securing encryption between your browser and the website you're talking to. And that has worked fabulously in the past. The problem, however, with SSL certificates to date has been that while they do secure strong encryption between those two ends, they don't really tell you who you're talking to. So we've seen many SSL certificates out there that are domain name validated. That means that the only thing that you actually know is the domain name of the other site, whether you're talking to Microsoft.com or whatever it is, that's all it tells you. But there's no guarantee who actually owns Microsoft.com or whatever it happens to be the domain that you're visiting. This is why this industry-wide problem needed a solution and a number of certification authorities, the guys who actually issue SSL certificates, uh, work together with the major browsers and that includes uh, Microsoft, the Mozilla Foundation, Opera and KD and formed what we call the CA Browser Forum. The scope of the CA Browser Forum was to figure out a better form of identity for SSL encrypted communication on the Internet and how that might help in increasing consumer trust while also helping to fight the phishing problem. The CA Browser Forum, therefore, came up with what we now call the Extended Validation EV SSL Certificates. And the concept behind EV is simple and straightforward, yet very powerful. So what we're actually doing here is that we're using the same technology that we know and trust in SSL and we're adding a new component about identity. What this means is that now before you can go and get a new extended validation SSL certificate you have to undergo a certification process. This rigorous process actually verifies that your company is who they say they are. They are, they are an um, operational company which means that it doesn't only exist in paper, that you're based somewhere and they know your location, that the person within the company whom uh, request a certificate is actually authorized to do so. This way when a CA issues a certificate he knows that the company actually exists and once the certificate validly operates the domain name and owns the domain name that it, uh, the certificate is issued to and is entitled to do so. So having this new assurance about the certificate when it's being issued brings a lot of good information for the user. So we're thinking here at the i7 team how can we alert the users to the fact that they're not connected to a site that has such a strong validated identity. The way that this is solved in Internet Explorer 7 on all platforms, Windows XP, Windows Server 2003 and Windows Vista, is that we go ahead and change the color of the address bar. The address bar therefore turns green and that's an alert to tell you that there is more security related information, in this case identity information, that you should be looking at. At the same time we want to make sure that this information is readily available. This is why if you look on the right hand side of your address bar, you're going to see that the name of the actual company is projected right there on the address bar. So if you connect to, say, paypal.com, you're not only seeing that you're connected to www.paypal.com over an HTTPS connection, but you can also see on the right-hand side that you can now see it says it's PayPal Inc. in the U.S. If you click on that label, it's going to tell you that whoever the certification authority happens to be, VeriSign or whomever, identifies this website as being... PayPal Incorporated based in, I think they're in San Jose, California in the US. The whole point of extended validation certificates is that they're adding a significant element of accountability. When you go to a website and you see the green bar, you now know that this company exists. You know which company is behind the website because sometimes it's really hard to, to defer from the domain name, figure out what the company behind it is. And you also know that they exist and someone validated them. Does this mean that this is a good company? If we cannot make any such assertion, it doesn't know if this company is good or bad and you know, great example is we can go and we would definitely a couple of years ago, if we had this procedure in place, we would have issued Enron a certificate. Was that a good idea or was it a good company? There's no way for us to verify that. And when I say yes, I mean the certification authorities who are actually going and performing the verification. 
I-7 is only the vehicle that brings you this information but performs none of the certification steps. But what it really means is that if you go ahead and order a TV or something and it doesn't come or it, comes, it doesn't come the way you expected it to, you now know where the company is located. It adds accountability to that company. So you can find them out, you can follow up with them, you can resolve your dispute, whatever that is, and you have a very effective way of doing that. This is why we think that the green bar and the extended validation certificates are going to add a new level of trust into the Internet because now they add the element of accountability into all your online transactions. Whether that is your online bank and you're sure that you're connecting to your bank or any e-commerce shop or whatever else it might be on the Internet, you now have authenticated information, verified information by a trustworthy CA about who you're talking to. And we feel that this helps us bring the Internet security one step forward, not solving all the problems, but solving a problem at a time helps us move forward as a whole. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you find this information useful. And if you need more information about EV, you can visit the Microsoft website at www.microsoft.com WAC Windows WAC EV, where you can get more information about extended validation SSL certificates. Again, thank you very much.